kids, welcome back to school. I am Miss Lindsay and I'm going to be your lunch lady. I've put together a delicious and a healthy menu for you guys for the next two weeks. Okay guys, today I have for you 10 quick and easy lunch ideas for the kids. Something that they can prepare on their own or you can prep for them ahead of time and they can just get it ready and eat it real quick. They're healthy, they have your protein, your vegetable, your fruit, they're wholesome meals, just like your school would provide for you. A little bit better and tastier though. And guys, make sure you check out our Instagram page. I'm gonna go ahead and post the menu up there for everybody to see, as well as for the next 10 school days, you'll get to see what each menu item looks like. So day one, the entree is gonna be Italian meat subs. It comes with a side salad and applesauce. The Italian meat subs are served on this Italian herb and garlic bread, which is really good toasted. And I put the salami, pepperoni, provolone cheese slices right on top. Goes in the oven, gets toasted. Drizzle a little bit of the marinara sauce on top. I've got the romaine hearts to serve as the side salad and applesauce. So this is a really quick lunch. Goes in the oven for about five minutes. It's done and you're having lunch already. Day two's entree is gonna be grilled ham and cheese. And that's gonna be on Texas toast. I've got my ham, cheddar cheese. Down here is the soup for the tomato basil bisque. Add a little bit of heavy whipped cream. So this can sit in the pot on the stove for about five minutes and simmer while the sandwiches are toasting in the oven. And for the fruit, I've got fresh pineapple, blueberries, and strawberries. So I'm gonna dice everything up, mix it together, and it'll be in a bowl in the fridge so they can just get it on their own. Now for day three's meal, we're gonna have chicken salad croissants for the entree, a small side of lightly salted potato chips and grapes. So here's the chicken. I use a shortcut, it's a prepared chicken. So all I have to do is pull this apart. I mix it with a little bit of onion, celery, mayo and relish. That's the chicken salad. It's gonna be ready in the fridge. These are the croissants that we're gonna use for the chicken salad sandwiches. They're also already prepared. That makes it really easy for the kids to just open the croissant, put the chicken salad on it and their sandwiches are ready. We've got the lightly salted potato potato chips that are gonna go with it and grapes. Now, this was a whole bag of grapes. The kids got to it before I actually got to start recording the video. So they sat there and ate grapes while I was setting everything up. So I'm gonna need to go back to the store and grab a few more grapes, but grapes go with the chicken salad croissants. Day four is super easy. It's pre-prepared. It'll be in the fridge and ready for the kids to heat up when they're on their lunch break. It's chicken fajita bowls. That's packed with protein. It's got vegetables right in it and they can have a fruit smoothie with it. Here's the rice for the chicken fajita bowls. I'm gonna use the rotisserie chicken from the store again. I've got a variety of peppers. You can actually use whatever's in your fridge, but I picked up some red, orange, and green. We're gonna use an onion for it, some cilantro. This is getting to be a big pile. I've got jalapenos and cheese dip. All of this is gonna go right into the fajita bowl in the fridge. On day four, when the kids are heating up those fajita bowls, they can go ahead and make the fruit smoothie. You just need some ice in a blender and more fresh fruit. I've got the pineapple, I've got strawberries, and I've got the blueberries. So we'll take that fruit, the ice, and a splash of orange juice right in the blender. Day five's entree is gonna be grilled chicken pitas with a side of macaroni salad and fruit punch to drink. So I've got my chicken. In this, I'm gonna prepare ahead of time. I have an indoor George Foreman grill. I just season these up with a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of paprika, put them on the grill for seven minutes, dice it and keep it in the fridge. The kids can heat that up. And then we're gonna add shredded lettuce, tomatoes, and all those ingredients go right into the pita. And we like a traditional macaroni salad. So it's just the pasta shells, celery, carrots, mayo, relish, and some hard-boiled eggs. And for the fruit this time, we're doing fruit punch. I'm not sure if that actually flies with the school, but this lunch lady, we're doing fruit punch. Well, that's it for the first week of school. And just a reminder, I'm gonna be posting pictures of all of these each day for the next 10 days on our Instagram page. Now let's go ahead and look at day six. That's gonna be turkey, spinach, and sun-dried tomato pinwheels with chips and fruit salad. I've got the tortillas, the turkey, the provolone cheese slices, spinach, and sun-dried tomato pesto, which is optional. Some kids like it, some kids don't. We do, so I'm gonna add that on for ours. And we've got the fruit salad already in the fridge from earlier. Then I'm gonna also serve that with corn chips. Now day seven is gonna be Greek salad with cantaloupe. So our Greek salad is a recipe that I just kind of put together a couple months ago and the family just fell in love with it. It's really easy to make. It saves in the fridge really well. So I make plenty of extra and they just eat it for days. There's quite a few ingredients. So just follow me along. We're gonna start with the rotini, sun-dried tomatoes, grated Parmesan cheese. We need a couple of avocados, some red onion, another rotisserie chicken. I told you there's a lot of ingredients here. A couple zucchini, some romaine, some spinach, and my last item, edamame. This all goes together in a big bowl and is drizzled with Tuscan vinaigrette. <laughs> and the fruit's gonna be cantaloupe. Day eight has a little bit of a Cajun theme. It's gonna be deli Cajun chicken with sauteed peppers and onions, melted provolone cheese on top of a toasted 
bagel. Here's my bagel. This is the Cajun chicken that we're gonna be using. Our cheese, peppers, and onions. So this is a really easy one for the kids to make as well, as long as you have the peppers and onions already sauteed and ready for them. You just open up the bagel, put the chicken on, the peppers, onions, cheese, put them either in your toaster oven, your regular oven for three to five minutes. It'll get all melted and toasted. Those are gonna be served with the remaining macaroni salad and fruit smoothies. And for these fruit smoothies, I just picked up a frozen fruit mix. This has berries and mangoes. You just mix it with a little bit of ice and a splash of orange juice right in your blender. Day nine is gonna be Italian themed. It's meatball subs, salad, and fresh fruit. You can buy the frozen meatballs in the store or you can make fresh prepared. We prefer the fresh prepared. So I've got my ground beef and ground pork right here for the meatballs. Need some Italian parsley, breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and some marinara sauce. All this goes into a big bowl. You mix it up, form it into the meatballs. If you're preparing these ahead of time, then you can put them right into the fridge and the kids can pull them out when they're ready and heat them right in the microwave. I chose sausage rolls for the buns for these meatball subs. Put them in the oven for just a couple of minutes. They get just a little bit toasted. Add the meatballs, the cheese, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. Let them toast for a few more minutes and they're ready. The salad is just a really easy salad. I picked the romaine blend that's already got the vegetables added to it. I added some cucumber, some tomato, and we like craft zesty Italian dressing. For the fresh fruit, I just picked some seasonal fruit. Right now, mangoes are really ripe, so I grabbed a few mangoes. We'll slice that up with some strawberries and the last of the pineapple. Day 10 is the last day on the menu. It's Friday and it's pizza day. I'm using ciabatta bread for the crust. It takes just a few minutes in the oven. Slice the bread in half. We're gonna drizzle it with olive oil, a little bit of Italian seasoning, garlic, add on the provolone cheese slices, and some pepper this goes under the broiler for just about five minutes and while it's cooking you can go ahead and heat up some marinara sauce The pizza comes out of the oven cut it into strips and you just dip it in the sauce Our vegetable on day 10 is a side salad I picked the salad bags that are already prepared and the fruit is gonna be a fresh berry smoothie So I've got strawberries blueberries gonna mix it with a little bit of ice in the blender a splash of heavy whipping cream and a little drizzle of honey. Well, there you have it. That is 10 quick and easy meals that you can have ready for your kids if they're doing the virtual classes, just like our family. Well, I hope you guys found this information helpful. I am always looking for new ideas for my school lunch menu. So please leave me a comment and let me know what your family enjoys. Maybe I'll add it into our lunch menu as well. And once this whole COVID thing is over, we're gonna be back to brown bagging it. Well guys, that is it. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting those pictures of each of these menu items for the next 10 days. I look forward to reading your comments. See you guys later.